that. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Women's Health Program, which we have uh, once a month. Uh, my name is Zuhra Yunus. I'm the moderator of this particular session. And uh, Women's Health Program is a monthly uh, presentation that will cover or that we usually cover different aspects, especially health on women. Sorry, I'm also inviting people in. Uh, women's health. The presentation is both in English and Swahili, but if we think all of us speak Swahili, we can decide to do one language, but mostly because we usually have audiences who speak English as well and don't understand uh, Swahili. Our topic for today is breast cancer, and our main uh, speaker is Dr. Fatma Abdullah. Please, can you switch off your mic, please? Uh, Dr. Fatma Abdullah is in Nairobi. Uh, she's a specialist uh, in hematology, oncology, and blood transfusion. So she will start by uh, presenting for like 15 to 20 minutes, and then you can all ask questions by raising your hand or through the chat room, and then I can read out the question on your behalf, or you can raise your hand and ask uh, the question yourself. So, uh, you're warmly welcome. Karibuni sana. Kipindi chetu tena tunakutana. Huo tunakutana mara moja kwa mwezi. Ni kipindi ambacho kinazumzia afya ya kina mama wanawake kwa ujumla. Mimi naitua Zuhra Yunus. Do naendesha mjadala huu. Na mgeni wetu wa leo ambao tutazumzia saratani ya matiti. Mgeni wetu naitua Dr. Fatma Abdallah, ye yuko Nairobi na ni mtaalamu wa maswala ya magonjo ya damu na saratani pia. Kwa hiyo ata wasilisha, ana utaka kutuelimisha kwa takriba ndaika kumnatano mpaka ishirini na baada hapo uneza kunyosha mkono ukauliza swali au pia kwenye chat kama unapenda, uneza kuandika swali lako wa maoni yako wa lafu minika ni kaisoma. Dr. Fatma, you're welcome. Shukran, jazakallah khair. Zuhra, kwa huu utangulizi mzuri. Na nigependa kuanza, mwanzo kwa kuwa mkua nyote. Assalamu alaikum, good evening everyone. Um... Nafikiri yo introduction alionipa Zuhra is sufficient. Thank you. So, this session will be of, inshallah, it's our idea. Most of you, you are in. So, cancer of the breast. What is cancer of the breast? It is cancer that affects the breast. Um, yes. Ni saratani ina athiri titi. Kwa mara asil mia, asil kisina tisini kwa mia, huwa ni titi la mwanamke. Lakini asil mia moja kwa mia, huwa ni mwanamume. So, na Uh, Dr. Samahani, eh, washa sorry, te, sorry, Samahani. hi. Kona mtu, oh. tafadhalini naombeni mute mic zenu, kasabu wakati mwini na nibidi ni mute watu wote, ambayo siyo vizuri. Kaelea, <laughs> Samahani. Okay, shukran. Um, so, likuwa naeleza um, incidents, ama um, um, he cancer of the breast, um, inaathiri titi gani sila wanawake peke yao lakini mara nyingi kwa wanawake 99% huwa ni is women affected but the reason that affects men so that means cancer of the breast can affect can affect both men and women but of course most commonly um, more often than not it is the women as breast um he uh, saratani he I, takriban inaonekana dunia nzima e, wala haitagui mweupe mweusi mwekundu um, ina, e, iko kila mahali 
na um, kwa nchi nyingi huwa ndiyo saratani inaoua wanawake idadi nyingi sana ya wanawake ni number one. so cancer of the breast is found all over the world in every country it does not discriminate any ethnic groups no color creed um, and um, and it is the commonest cancer that affects we, uh, kills women all over the world if it's not number one in some countries if it's not number one then it would be number two but it's not very far from the top three um uh, like ukukwe to um africa mashariki ndio uh, number one um na inayoua uh, idadi wengi sana ya wanawake um kwa hivyo ni ni um ni swala nyeti la kulizungumza leo na nimefurahi kwa kwa organizers kutagua um, uh, topic hii so it's a very important subject for us to discuss because it's so so common um now most of the times it affects uh, women um over the age of 50 especially in the developed countries but when you come to um, to the underdeveloped countries or the developing countries then we find that the age group has lo is much lower um so um, so we 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 get it in much younger uh, women and and girls so nin hiyo hi saratani ya ya matiti kwa um, nchi zilizoendelea inaathiri wanawake ambao wako na miaka hamsini na zaidi lakini huku kwetu um, Afrika Mashariki na nchi nyingi ambazo bado zinaendelea um, zinaathiri wanawake wa umri wa chini ya hiyo um, na sasa um, ningependa kueleza um, mambo gani yanasababisha um, hii um, kansa ya the breast ama uh, saratani ya matiti. Kwa kweli mpaka leo hatujajua sababu haswa ya uh, inayosababisha cancer of the breast. Um, na saratani nyingi pia. Kama vile tunavyojua ukiumwa na mbu utapata malaria. Um, hilo lajulikana na lisha uh, lisha thibitishwa. Lakini kwa um, saratani ya matiti hatuna jambo ambalo twasema linasababisha tunao mambo yanayofanya nini yanayochangia ambayo nitaeleza so we don't up to now we don't really know the cause of cancer of the breast um not not the way we know that if you're bitten by mosquito you get malaria you drink dirty water you get amebiasis um or typhoid um but there are um Uh, certain things that contribute um, um, uh, to this cancer of the breast and in somebody where one or two of these come together in one person then then the likelihood of that person getting cancer of the breast is high so mambo yanayochangia um, nimeagawanya uh, mafungu mawili fungu la kwanza ni yale mambo ambayo um, wewe unayo unayo hiari nayo you, uh, you have control over them mm? um, ukipenda utafanya usipopenda uh, hufanyi na uh, na fungu la pili ni yale mambo ambayo huna hiari uh, nayo huna control um, so i've divided the um, contributing uh, or risk factors of cancer of the breast into two groups a group uh, of those things that where you have control and you can make a decision and make the right decision and those that you have no control um and you they're really out of out of your hands so if we i would like to start with the ones that you you have control over mm. higher uh tukianza na yale mambo ambayo unayo hiari nayo la kwanza ni unene ama kuwa na mwili mwingi kwa ratili zako kwa nyingi kupita kiasi um na haswa ikiwa umri uh, wako ni ule umri ambao bado unaendelea ku uh, kwa katika ule umri ambao waweza bado kuzaa hujafika menopause yani um, 
so obesity is the first uh, risk factor, especially for those who, who have not uh, attained their menopause yet. Yamo la pili ni alcohol, consumption of alcohol, kunywa tembo ama vinyaji vya kulewesha. So alcohol. Um, then the third thing, jambo la tatu, ni exercise, mazoezi. Maranyiki situ afikiri kwa mazoezi ya nahitajia yule mtu ambaye anajaribu ku lose weight. Okay, we think exercise for those who need, who need to lose weight. That's not true. All of us need exercise for good health. Um, so, mtu anaifanya mazoezi inamsaidia kuliko yule ambaye hafanyi mazoezi. Na jambo la nne, the fourth thing is diet. Your, the diet. What about the diet? There are several things in the diet that contribute to this. One, mambokadha ya na changia, la kwanza ni kwa ikiwa na kula chakula chenye mafta mengi. If you eat food that is high in fat. Okay? Um, so yale mafuta, haya saidi. Uh, pili, uh, the second thing is when you when most of your diet or most of the food that you consume is low in fiber um ikiwa kile chakula unachokila hakina fiber yani fiber tunapata zaidi kutoka kwenye matunda lakini haswa uh, fiber tunapata zaidi kutoka kwenye mboga mm mm haswa mboga za rangi ya kijani zenye matawi makubwa mm -hmm. na um, na um, na mambo na mambo kadhaa kwenye 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 chakula Samahani doctor nilikumute nombo unmute kwa sababu ilibidi kulikuwa na mmoja anasumbua kidogo kila nikimute na unmute Naam okay e, so e. ulikuwa nimefika wapi hamkunisikia Ah hapo tu kidogo hapo tu hiyo sentence moja tu Okay um so um nilikuwa naeleza habari ya diet chakula kina tunachokula vitu gani ambavyo vinachangia kwenye chakula chetu ikiwa chakula kina mafuta mengi na kimepungua uh, na fiber uh, kimepungua mboga uh, uh, yani mboga na matunda ndio uh, uh, yenye uh, vitu vyenye fiber zaidi na uh, vitu hivi vinatusaidia so diet low in fiber and high in fat has been shown to be a contributing or a risk factor so um, those are the things that you have control over you can decide to do them or not to do them uh, and it's really up to you um, but i'm hoping that after today you will make the right decisions kwa hivyo tumemaliza yale mambo ambayo tunahiari nayo sasa nataka kueleza yale ambayo hatuna hiari nayo uh, so of the things that we have no control over is one is gender. I already explained 99% of the breast cancers occur in women, 1% in men. So tayari wewe ukiwa mwanamke um asilimia 99 ni rahisi kwako wewe kupata saratani ya titi kushinda mwanamume ambaye ni asil asil ni moja asilimia kwa moja tu peke yake. So gender so high ilo la kwanza. So you don't decide whether you're going to be born male or female. Njomana nikasema you've no control. Huna hiyari nalo. Pili ni umri. Umri. Kila umri yani umri wako ukiwa wa unaongezeka basi ile riski yako inazidi kwa mzi. Kama livo eleza mara nyingi na athiri wanawake baada ya miaka wenye uh, umri wa zaidi ya miaka 50 na kuendelea juu um, na na ha, hata huku kwetu um, uh, Afrika Mashariki na nchi ambazo zi, bado zinaendelea um, takriban si rahisi kupata um, mtu mwenye kansa akiwa ni msichana mdogo um, mara nyingi atakuwa um, umri wake umeendelea ameshakuwa uh, uh, ashakuwa mtu mzima yani um, hata miaka 30 na kuendelea juu hata kama utaipata kabla 
ya miaka hiyo. Kwa hivyo umri ni jambo ambalo pia kuna hiari nayo. Wewe ukilala ukiamka ushaongezeka umri. Sivyo. So you have no control over age. As you uh, uh, sleep and wake up, you have your age it keeps increasing. Haya. Eh, jambo la tatu ni um, ethnicity kidogo tumeona kuwa um, saratani hii inathiri zaidi um, watu walio weupe um, ama makabila uh, walio na ngozi nyeupe kuliko makabila yenye ngozi nyeusi kama yetu ama nyekundu eh, mandano na kadhalika na kadhalika kidogo um, um, imeonekana hivyo um, jambo la uh, so um, it has been seen that the incidence of breast cancer is higher in white women compared to or 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 Caucasian or white people compared to non-white. Um, okay. Then Yambolande, the fourth thing is family history. Ikiwa kwenye familia kuna mtu ambaye amewahi kupata hi saratani ya matiti. Haswa um, ikiwa ni mwanamke kwa hivo upande wako kwa ukukeni. Yani ikiwa ni mamako, khalati yako, ama dadako. Mm, wale wanawake katika familia yako ikiwa wamewahi kugua huu ugonjwa basi wewe una uh, risk zaidi ya kupata ugonjwa kushinda mtu ambaye kwenye familia yao hawajawahi kugua hii saratani ya matiti so family history uh, contributes as a risk factor especially um, in the women or the, uh, or the maternal side of of the family if you have a mom a sister um, who has suffered from cancer of the breast then you are at higher risk of getting it compared to somebody who comes from a family that does not uh, has nobody has ever suffered such a condition haya jambo la tano ni yule ambaye aliwahi kufanywa radiotherapy haswa radiotherapy ambayo um, ya, e, ili ikuwa inatumika kwenye kifua chake kwa ugonjwa kadhaa pengine um, ilikuwa ni saratani nyingine ama um, kuna magonjwa mengine ambayo si saratani lakini radiotherapy inatumika ku, eh, kutibu katika katika matibabu yake um, radiotherapy kwa Kiswahili tukisema ni kuchoma ingawa si kuchoma kama ule moto wa tunaotumia jikoni tulouzoea lakini ni ile kuchoma ya ki, ya, ki, ya kispitali na nadhani mwanielewa um, so if you've ever had radiotherapy uh, on your chest for the treatment of any other condition or any other disease, then that uh, gives you a higher risk of getting cancer of the breast. Uh, that's the fifth um, risk factor. The sixth one is chemotherapy. Um, with chemotherapy, is, um, it, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you've had any cancer, that you are being treated for with chemotherapy, then after five years um, of uh, completing that treatment, then you are at a risk of getting another cancer. Um, and if you're a woman, then um, commonly, um, it's more likely that you would get cancer of the breast. So kama uliwahi kutibiwa, uh, na chemotherapy ambayo ni zile dawa za kuwekwa kwenye mshipa za kutibu saratani kwa saratani nyingine baada miaka mitano ukishamaliza kutibiwa na umeendelea na uhai wako vizuri baada miaka mitano ile chemotherapy inakuwa ni kama sababu ya kukusababisha wewe ama kukuchangia wewe kupata saratani ya pili na hiyo saratani ya pili ikiwa wewe ni mwanamke mara nyingi inaweza kuwa ni saratani ya matiti Siki la mara lakini um, uh, huenda ikawa hivyo. Ha sasa hii saratani ya matiti au cancer of the breast inatibiwa namna gani? How do you treat cancer of the breast? Well, I've mentioned it really depends on many things. One, it depends on the type, there are different types. It depends on the stage. Um and the stage 1 to 5 to or 4. Um it also depends on certain markers that um that the breast tissue will have been tested for, um, especially estrogen sensitivity. Um, it also depends oh, on, on your past medical history. 
Kwa hivyo matibabu ya saratani ya kansa uh, uh, saratani ya matiti ina um, inategemea ni type gani maana ziko tofauti ziko mainly mbili tofauti uh, kuna lobula na ductal um, kisha inategemea ni stage gani kuna stage 1 paka 4 uh, um, pia inategemea vipimo vingine ambavyo vinapimwa pale unapotolewa uh, ule mfuro o tutu wa matezi inapimwa estrogen eh, um, kama eh, na pia inategemea jambo la nne eh, in hiyo ile hali yako ya kiafya imekuwaje um, katika miaka iliyopita kabla hujapata huu ugonjwa sasa um, tutafanya nini mm, tuweze ku, kujikinga na ugonjwa huu Um, la kwanza um, ah, kabla sijaendelea kusukumaliza matibabu um, la kitu cha kwanza kinachofanywa ni ile le, e, saratani hutolewa kwenye titi inategemea ikiwa imepatikana ikiwa ndogo ile tutu ama tezi inatolewa tu ile ikiwezekana lakini kama huku uh, kwenye nchi bado ambazo ziko katika kuendelea mara nyingi wanawake wanakuja wamechelewa sana huwa titilote lisha athirika huwa huja wengine wana kidonda kwa hivyo hubidi titilote litolewe so jambo la kwanza ni lazima utafanywa operation eh litolewe ile ugonjwa baada hapo sasa ndio utapewa hiyo chemotherapy dawa za mshipa um, na radiotherapy na baada ya hapo yategemea waweza kupewa pia hormones za ku za kuendelea nazo. So the actual treatment starts with surgery. It can be lumpectomy, just removing the lump or uh, removing the whole breast depending on what stage um, you 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 uh, that cancer was detected. After that then you either go for chemotherapy and radiotherapy and you may be given hormones um or immunotherapy it really depends on all the investigations that were done so how do you prevent una dakika mbili halafu tuanze maswali haya how do we prevent it we prevent it one um by making sure we boost our immunity when i talked about your diet and fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables are very important for boosting your immunity because when you boost your immunity um there are cells in your body that go around um looking for cancerous cells and destroy them when they are just at the cellular stage um so lots of fruits and vegetables are good for you uh, if you can take five to nine different colored fruits and vegetables a day that's good and um the second thing that helps us in preventing is to breastfeed for those who who have had the chance of having babies to breastfeed the babies if you can breastfeed them um for at least one to two years it's good it, it has a very protective um uh, effect on it um so katika kujikinga na ugonjwa tu tujisaidie kwa kuongeza kinga yetu ya mwili kwa kula mboga na matunda kwa wingi tunaambiwa na um Uh, utafiti umeonyesha kuwa kila siku ukiweza kula mboga tofauti tofauti na matunda tofauti tofauti baina matano na tisia um, um, rangi tofauti ladha tofauti inatusaidia kukinga kujenga kinga yetu ya mwili na jambo la pili ni kunyonyesha kunyonyesha kwa wale ambao wamezaa uh, kunyonyesha kunasaidia kwa mwanamke kwa uh, huu ugonjwa na je um, utajuaje kama wewe Um, sikupata nafasi kueleza uh, e, ishara um, za um, huu ugonjwa e, lakini pengine nitaeleza baadaye katika maswali na pia um, ningependa kumalizia kwa kueleza kuwa kitu kimoja ni kuwa saratani yoyote e, na haswa hii ya matiti ikipatikana mapema ikiwa ni ile stage ya kwanza basi ni rahisi mtu kutibiwa na kuishi maisha yake e, na kuendelea na maisha yake vizuri na kwa hivyo tutafanya vipi tuweze kuipata na mapema tufanye uh, self breast examination mm, uh, so self breast examination will help us detect 
this cancer when it is at a very early stage because that helps in cure. Um, um, so you cell breast examination as well as uh, manual uh, inspection of your breast. Um, when looking at yourself in the mirror, um, you'll be able to detect it early and go to the hospital and get checked uh, for them to tell you, yes, it is or, or no, it isn't, but at least you'll have picked it early. And for those in their family um, who have family history, then having a mammogram once ev every year, depending on the age, um, once a year or once every two years, will also detect it when it's small. So kwa kumalizia, tutaju, eh, saratani tujue ukipata maapema, um, nini hiyo, ni ndiyo rahisi kutibika, saratani yote si hii ya, ya matiti peke yake, na tutaipata vipi maapema, tujifunze ku, 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 kupima matiti yetu mwezi mara moja, eh, haswa tukisha maliza ile ada yetu ya mwezi ya kawaida, um, na ku, ku, kuangalia matiti yetu kwenye kio, uh, tukaweza kujiangalia kama kuna hitilafu yoyote tuende hospitali tuangalie na kwa wale ambao kwenye familia yao um, wa, wa, kuna watu waliwahi kugua huu hu, saratani hii basi mammogram ni x-ray maalum inapimwa matiti um, na baada miaka miwili kila baada miaka miwili au kila baada mwaka tegemea umri hiyo pia inasaidia kupata huu ugonjwa uh, ukiwa bado uko kwenye stage 1 nafikiri nitabidi nisimame Nyamaze sasa. <laughs> so nyamaze unanyamaza kwa sekunde tu maana yake ndio maswali. <laughs> so uh, dadhani jamani sote tumemmsikia Dr. Fatma Abdallah uh, kwa hiyo kama kuna maswali yoyote naona tayari Frederick aliuliza you can either ask in English or Swahili we using we're using both languages in case others don't uh, understand Swahili so be free please. So I'll start with, I can see New Deal Africa has raised his or her hand, but let me start with Frederick Philemon. Anasema, kuna husiano wawote na uvutaji sigara na saratani ya matiti? Kwa sante, Frederick, uh, kwa swali hilo. Um, smoking, cigarette smoking has been associated as a risk factor to many cancers. Actually, thank you. I think I missed it out. Yes. So smoking... Um, though there are other cancers that are more highly um, associated with smoking, um, for example, cancer of the lung um, uh, compared to cancer of the breast, lakini smoking eh, ni kweli uvutaji wa sigara ndiyo unachangia katika kuleta saratani nyingi um, katika mili yetu. Asante kwa swali hilo. Asante. Kwa hiyo kuna nyingine kutoka kwa Gloria. Gloria nisahamilie kidogo ni mruhusu New Deal aulize uh, swali lake. New Deal karibu. Asante. Asalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Na bwana asifiwe. Naomba kutoa maamkizi haya nikimkumbusha mtoaji wa mada kwamba inapendeza unasalimia waislamu na wakristo kwa sababu tuko wengi hapa kama utamaduni wetu ila sisi wote tujisikie tuna umetujali kwa sababu ulitoa maamkizi ya Kiislamu sasa swali langu katika utangulizi ulizungumzia swala la miaka hamsini and above wakazi wa Ulaya alafu kazungumzia Afrika au nchi zinazoendelea south of the Sahara wanapata saratani mapema below 50 sasa nataka kujua what is this geographical difference kwamba hao wanapata baada ya 50 na hao wenzetu wanapata chini ya 50 inasababishwa na nini geographical location na kitu gani Asante New Deal Samahani I thought uh, niliwasalimia nyote um uh, asalamu alaykum nikasema na good evening lakini labda uh, haikutoka vizuri um, um, so good evening everyone um though asalamu alaykum is really a, 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 a very nice greeting saying may peace and blessings of god be on you that's all it really means okay so to your question Kwa nini wanawake um, um, 
huku uh, kwenye nchi ambazo um, bado zinaendelea uh, hii saratani hii inapatikana kwa um, umri um, mdogo zaidi kushinda uh, nchi zilizoendelea um, um, sababu zake um, ni bado zina, zinafanyiwa utafiti um, lakini imefikiriwa ni kwamba ni kwa sababu uh, pengine pollution kwenye nchi ambazo hazijaendelea vizuri uh, pollution ina um, inachangia yani chemicals ziwe ni pollution za air za uh, ya maji um, maji yetu na, 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 na hewa yetu uh, ni jambo moja jambo la pili imeonekana kuwa kwa kuwa um, kwenye nchi ambazo bado zinajaribu kuendelea uh, watu huwa wana wanahangaika sana kujaribu ku, kupata maisha um, kwa hivyo um, ni, ni kwa sababu immunity yao ama kinga yao ya mwili um, haiko nzuri sana um, kwa sababu ile stress ya kuta, uh, kuangalia jamii kuwalisha na kuwahudumia um, inafanya kinga yao ya mili siwe nzuri na e, jambo la pili ambao inafanya kinga yao iwe ina um, inakuwa strained zaidi ni kwa sababu kwenye nchi hizi ambazo hazijaendelea uh, magonjwa ya kuambukiza ni mengi sana na yana e, yanamkumba mtu kila siku kama si, si malaria ni ni typhoid ni tb magonjwa mengi mengi ambayo kwenye hizi nchi zilizoendelea magonjwa haya yameweza kuwa controlled yame, um, yameweza kuwa um, kupunguzwa yakawa kwa idadi ndogo sana um, so it's it's really multifactorial um, and um, and then of course the fourth uh, thing is lack of awareness or poor awareness um, wengi wengi wetu uh, kwa sababu ya tuweza kusema li, because of literacy reduced literacy rates um, um, then uh, the lack of awareness is very high um, watu wengi huwa hawajui kuna kama kitu kama saratani na athiri um, uh, matiti na namna gani ya kujisaidia kwa hivyo hiyo lack of awareness um, um, na namna kujikinga kama hizo mambo ya self breast examination mammograms um, yote hayo ni mambo ambayo hayajulikani na watu wengi pengine wale walioko miji mikubwa waliosoma ndio zaidi wanajua so um to summarize the, risk fa the reasons why it is thought that in the developing countries uh, cancer of the breast and many other cancers by the way um occur at a younger age group compared to um people in developed countries is um really multifactorial one is lack of awareness two is um uh, infections the many many infections that people are really struggling and battling with um um therefore the immunity is being strained all the time the immunity is being strained also because uh people are struggling to make a living um, um and also because of um the uh, pollution um the um advocacy groups that take care of pollution in developed countries are not Uh, as powerful and as effective in developing countries as they are in the developed countries so um, some of our industries get away with um, um horrendous uh, pollution and you know and people just turn the other way so it's really multifactorial thank you that was a very good question uh, new deal uh, asante sana dr fatma gloria namuna umufaraj amenyosha mkono Uh, lakini I'll read out uh, message ya Gloria kwanza alafu ndio tutakwenda kwa Ummu Faraj anasema Dr. Fatma ninaomba ufafanuzi kuhusu tiba ya kimo inaweza baada ya miaka mitano kusababisha upate breast cancer kazi ya kimo ni kuua cancer cells so ye yeah, ina maana kutokana na maelezo yako tiba ya kimo in the long run can be a cause for a second cancer amezungumza Kiswahili hapo kwa hiyo tunachanganya lugha If that is the case <laughs> why going through chemo swali so, yes it's a very good question and it's something that's not usually discussed but it is true when you are treated with chemotherapy for your first cancer 
if you survive um, beyond five years, then there is a likelihood of those, the chemicals that were in the chemotherapy, many of them remain in our bodies. Um, the body is not able to destroy or get rid of them. They just lie quiet, quietly in our bodies, but after five years, they're able to, um, to be related to risk of getting a second cancer. So yes, it is true. The chemotherapy, ikunikweli inaua cancer. Lakini baada kuua ile cancer ulonayo sasa, ukiendelea kuishi baada miaka mitano, ile chemotherapy sasa ina, ni kama ambayo um, imegeuka sasa imekuwa inachangia kukusaidia we kupata cancer ya pili. Kwa hivyo tunazita hizi secondary cancers. Um, mara nyingi hatuzungumzi kwa sababu wewe ukiwa na cancer hivi sasa tukikwambia tuki tutakupa chemotherapy lakini ujue baada miaka mitano waweza kupata cancer nyingine si utakata for sure um, but the, um, it's not easy to discuss this um, to tell a patient yes we'll treat you with can, uh, chemotherapy now but um, just be aware that there's a light if you live beyond five years after you get cured of this cancer you're likely to get another cancer so but it is something that you we need to know it's something that you need to be aware of so don't refuse getting the chemotherapy that's not the what i'm um uh, i'm aiming at uh, or or my the purpose of explaining for you is for you to be aware once you are aware of this once you're being treated and cured you should then afterwards um, go through a detoxification program by using vegetables and smoothies and whatever, but that's talk for another day. You can detoxify yourself to help your body get rid of these chemicals um, um, so that you, um, you can try and protect yourself uh, or from getting a secondary cancer. And I see Gloria uh, uh, plus S10 has asked, congratulations, Gloria, for living eight years um, after being treated for cancer of the breast. Um, what can you do to yourself? I've just said it. You um, find a way of detoxifying yourself using fruits, vegetables, and smoothies, and that um, um, so that you can try to escort help escort those some of those chemicals that have been linked to causing secondary cancers out of your body if you're able to escort them out of your body then you'll have done you'll have prevented and helped yourself from getting a secondary cancer it doesn't happen to everybody siki la mtu anaipata chemotherapy baada miaka mitano atakaipata kansa ya pili lakini ni jambo ambalo linatukia na ni muhimu tujue mm, na, na nimeeleza utajisaidia vipi. Shukran. Afu, afu. Uh, umu Faraj, karibu sana ulize swali la. Yeah. Habari zenu. Nashukuru kwa kunisikiza. Mimi mamangu three years ago alipata kansa ya titi lakini yuko the last stage yake na amekataa kabisa tupewaita kila mtu wa mrai aende akafanya chemotherapy amekataa sasa na mimi 10 years back nilifanya lamp kwenye breast yangu je iko possibility naweza kupata hiyo kansa naam um asante um ya yeah, um, Mio lampu lotolewa wewe uliambiwa ilikuwa ina nini? Ah niliambiwa iko sawa sawa nilitolewa. Uliambiwa it's be nine. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Asante. Um, yeah. asante kwa kunikumbusha. Sio kila lamp, sio tutu yoyote in the breast. Not every lamp in the breast is cancerous as Umu has just explained to us, especially in our younger um, during our younger ages, some of the young girls and young women form lamps in their breasts that are completely benign and are not cancerous, but they still have to be removed because it is thought and believed if they are left in that breast, then there's a chance that after several years, they can now turn to be, they can then turn to be cancerous. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri ukiwa natezia matutu yote kwenye titi, 
itolewe iende kajulikane kwanza na wasichana wadogo um, na wanawake wenye umri mdogo wengine hufanya tu tuna tezi kama hizi lakini huwa si kansa eh, lakini imezi huwa lazima zitolewe kwa sababu zinaadhaniwa na kufikiriwa kwa baadaye zikiwachwa kwenye titi lile huenda zikageuka zikawa kansa baada ya miaka kadhaa kwa hivyo kumjibu swali lako o, kukujibu swali lako umu we ndio wewe uko kwenye high risk ya kupata cancer of the breast kwa hivyo utafanya uh, vile nilivyo sema mwisho wa maelezo yangu ufanye self breast examination once a month Uf, ujiangalie uh, ufanye manual inspection um, on, on the mirror na um, uende pia ukafanywe mammogram baada ya tegemea kila mtu kila nchi inatumia miaka yake kat umri gani mwanamke anatakiwa sasa aanze kwenda kufanya mammogram kwa hivyo utauliza huko kwenu nadhani umu we uko UK sina hakika mm, yeah, ni lakini Ireland. uko Ireland so utauliza yeah. huko uh, nchi nyingine wanasema miaka 40 wengine miaka 50 wengine miaka 60 lakini nafikiri miaka mi, nchi nyingi wanatumia huo umri wa miaka 50 kuanza kufanya watu mammogram haswa ikiwa unaye mtu uh, ambaye um, Uh, katika familia yako ambaye aliugua ugonjwa huo. Shukran Dr. Fatma Frederick ana swali kabla hapo nakumbuka mwanzo kabisa ulivyoanza ulisema na wanaume nao wanapata saratani ya matiti na kuona wanatamka matutu. Haya sasa mwanamme anakuwa anajua aje maana yake ziwa titi lenyewe hana. Atatambua aje. Asante kwa swali hilo Zuhra. Ni mwanamume atajua kuna tatizo kwa sababu titi lake moja litakuwa limfura na jingine limeka flat kama kawaida litaanza kufura um, kwa hivyo akiona titi lake limeanza kufura haswa ikiwa ni upande mmoja angalia kuna watu wazima wanaume watu wazima haswa wake watu wazima sana kwa sababu ya zile hormones um, uh, 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 balancing ya hormones inabadilika Utaona wanaume watu wazima matiti yao kidogo yamefura lakini yote mawili na yamefura um, equally kisawa sawa na um, na nini hiyo haya eh, eh, ni smooth yani nyororo ule mfuro wake eh, si mgumu mgumu kama tezi ya matutu so a man will know he's having a problem of um or possibly cancer of the breast if only one of his breast begins to swell and when he palpates it he feels a lump inside only one if it happens to both it's usually hormonal and this happens a lot to men um older much much older men uh, because of the balance of um estrogen testosterone in their bodies but usually no. that swelling is both breasts are equally um they slightly increase i wouldn't say swollen and and it's they are smooth and not lumpy. Oh, thank you. Uh sasa uh, Dr. Leila naona amenyosha mkono kabla hapo naomba nisome message ya Frederick anauliza tena swali jingine anasema tumeona kwenye saratani ya shingo ya kizazi kuna chanjo. Je, hii ya matiti kuna chanjo? I wish <laughs> kwa kuwa ina uh, inaua idadi ya wanawake wengi sana duniani ingekuwa vizuri kama tungejua chanjo la mpaka sasa hatujapata chanjo ya saratani ya matiti sababu gani sababu hatujajua kama kuna uh, vidudu viruses or bacteria or, um, any, let, let me use the word um, organisms that um, are included in the risk factor. Una lipozungumza mambo yanayochangia sikutaja uh, virusi wala bakteria ama wadudu wa aina yoyote ambao wamejulikana kuchangia. Lakini ile ya um, cancer of the cervix kama zilivyosema shingo ya uzazi. First time to hear that. Wow. <laughs> um, um, no. ile im, im, I, 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 kuna virusi ambavyo vinajulikana vinachangia kwenye saratani hiyo ya cancer of the cervix vimejulikana ni, ni virusi gani e, even the subtype 
eh, alhamdulillah tunashukuru kwa tumeweza kupata ilmu hiyo na sasa ndio vile virusi vilivyojulikana na subtype yake ndio vimetumika sasa kutengeza ch- eh, chanjo kama hivi sasa tumeweza tu kupata chanjo ya corona ni kwa sababu twavijua ni virusi gani ni subtype gani eh, tumepata chanjo sivyo lakini eh, bahati mbaya saratani ya matiti hatuja um, hakuna mpaka hivi leo ilmu tulionayo hatujaona kama kuna virusi e, ama vidudu vyovyote ambavyo vinachangia kule kuleta saratani hii ambavyo tungeweza kuvitumia kutengeza chanjo lakini tuombe Mungu Mungu huenda akatusaidia Shukran. Uh, Dr. Leila dakika moja tu naomba nisome message ya Gloria anasema asante sana Dr. for that detox advice. Alafu Grace Mzenge anasema asante Dr. kwa ushauri wa detox. Uh, mimi ni breast cancer survivor mwaka kumi sasa na mshukuru Mungu kwani self breast examination ndio ilinifanya nigundue lump mapema. Kwa hiyo anasema elimu ya self breast examination ni muhimu sana. Asante sana Grace kwa hilo na hongera sana kwa kuwa survivor we na Gloria. Sasa namruhusu uh, Dr. Leila karibu ulize swali lako. Naona umenyosha mkono karibu. Mm, asante, asante sana. Asante sana Dr. Fatma for, kwa maelezo mazuri sana umetusaidia kutuelimisha um, kuhusu saratani ya, ya matiti. Na umetaja kwamba gisi ya kusaidia kupunguza uwezekano wa kupata au kukamata tatizo hilo mapema ni kujichunguza wenyewe yani kufanya ile self examination sasa hivi ningeomba nah. tu kwa faida ya wote labda waliohudhuria ili ungeweza labda kutufafanulia ni jinsi gani tunavyojikagua kuna mfumo maalumu au unajishika shika tu au kuna parts zote za mkono unatakiwa utumie wakati unajikagua na ni kipi ambacho kitakufanya wakati wa kujikagua vile uone kwamba hapa labda kuna tatizo uende ukamuone daktari Asante sana Shukran Dr. Leila um, nilikuwa nataka kueleza hivyo lakini poona wakati umekwisha nikaona basi tutangoja maswali uh, kwa hivyo naona tunao wakati kidogo Uh, nitaeleza zaidi. Haya, self breast examination ama kuji, kujipima we mwenyewe matiti nimesema nimetaja uh, tunatakiwa tufanye mwezi mara moja uh, inatosheleza na mara nyingi inakuwa ni pale kwa wale wanawake ambao bado wanapata ada zao za mwezi baada ya hapo. Manake kabla um, ya ada za mwezi wanawake wengine huwa matiti yao um, e, e, yana uchungu uchungu kidogo yako sensitive Um, so self breast examination is usually done once a month just after the uh, uh, menses uh, the month, monthly mens- menses because that's when the uh, most women are not very sensitive and their breasts are not very painful for them to examine so how do you do it uh, okay first um, you do manual inspection um, you remove your clothes and stand in front of a mirror and look at the two breasts Okay they should be on the same line straight line flat um they should look the same um and um one shouldn't be very high above the other one and also um the color should be um the same on both both the breast as well as the nipple and the nipple should be sticking out okay and um and then uh, there shouldn't be any uh, any obvious lumps even when you lift your arms and look at your armpits um so so looking is very important um and also the skin should look like the rest of the skin uh, in, the, in the on the rest of the body okay so um, what will you sus- uh, uh, what makes you suspicious when you are doing the uh, manual inspection um is that either there'll be a, a discharge from the nipple and especially if the discharge is blood stained uh one two if the color um of one n- um, nipple or breast has changed different from the other one and uh or if the skin looks like the an orange peel and in french it's called pardon orange um one of them will look like that 
um, with depressions just the way an orange peel looks like. So, jambo la kwanza la kufanya self breast examination ni kuvua nguo na kusimama, uh, kusimama mbele ya kio ukajiangalia matiti yako yanatakiwa yawe kwenye line moja um, sio moja liko juu sana na nyingine liko chini sana yawe size yao iwe sawa kwa sawa rangi pia um, na um, na ile tutu iwe imetokeza kwa nje ikiingia ndani um, pia hiyo ni jambo la wasiwasi um, so if the teat is inverted that's also something to worry about um, na ukienua mikono kwenye hizi kwapa um, hutakiwi kuona mfuru wa matezi zozote Uta, u, u, utashuku kuna jambo ikiwa utaona mambo haya um, um, ama um, titi moja liwe kubwa kushinda jingine uh, yani lipishane sana um, ama um, moja liwe juu sana liwe na jingine liwe chini sana ama ikiwa rangi ya titi moja tofauti na jingine na halikuwa hivyo mbeleni ama ikiwa ile ngozi badala kuwa nyororo imekaa kama um, ganda la chungwa um, ama ikiwa tutu inatoa uh, maji maji na haswa maji maji haya ikiwa yana uh, damdamu kidogo uh, kwa hivyo mkiona mambo e, yote katika hayo ni jambo la kushuku afadhali uende hospitali upimwe na watu wanaoelewa zaidi wakueleze kama ni, ni, ni sawa ama si sawa. Sasa so, ukishamaliza kujiangalia kwenye kio sasa ndio utafanya hiyo self breast exam. Sasa lazima ulale chini um, um, ulale chini um, yes to, to answer shunu. And yes. and there two doctor nitakusomea swali. Nitakusomea Ulale chini utumie mkono wako wa kulia kupima titi la kushoto na mkono wa kushoto kupima titi la kulia. Okay? Um, uh, so you use your right hand to palpate your breast and you must um, and then your left hand for the right breast. You then sort of imaginary divide your breast into four like you've drawn across um, or on the breast so that it has four quadrants. Okay, and the, the center line, the center of the cross should be at the nipple so that you remember to start on one quadrant and go to the other, the, the second, the third, the fourth, and then uh, so that you don't, you won't have missed any. If you do it haphazardly, you may miss one quadrant. Okay, um, and what do you do? You first um, um, examine using the tips of your fingers you feel for any lumps okay so you start with the first quarter second quarter third quarter and you can do it clockwise or anti clockwise whichever you find easy um and then once you've done that if you do feel then you come back and use the palm of your hand and repeat the same examination you now feel the four quarters for the lump if the lump you fell on the, you felt with the tips of your fingers you now don't feel it with the palm of your hand, then that's not a lump. That's the, usually, the usual consistency or lumpiness of, of most breasts. And if you do this every month, you'll come to learn that this is how my breast feels. And you'll know it is a sort of lumpy lumpy. I mean, not, you know, slightly irregular inside, but that's because of the lobules that usually make milk. So you do that right hand with the, for the left breast, left hand for the right breast, okay? using first tips of your fingers and then the palm of your hand. Kwa hivyo, uh, 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 sasa ukiwa nataka kujipima mat, eh, matiti utalala chini na utatumia mkono wako wa kulia kupima titi lako la kushoto na mkono wa kushoto kupima titi la kulia eh, na utafanya kuligawanya titi lako um, sehemu nne um, ikiwa katikati ni le tutu um, one ili uende kama ama clockwise kufuata saa ama opposite lakini ufuate ili kila kota kila sehemu kila robo uwe utai utai utaipima na utapima vipi mwanzo utatumia hivi uh, viganja vya mikono um, vidole sorry um, uh, uh, na kisha baadaye utatumia uh, hii um, 
sehemu ya mkono mm, kwa sababu mara nyingi ukitumia hivi vidole utaona kweli unasikia kama mbona kuna lamps nyingi kwenye titi hili lakini ukirudi sasa ukifanya na um, mkono huku hapa hii sehemu hii ya mkono utaigundua uh, mbona huhisi tena zile lamps huhisi tena mfuro wote e, ni kwa sababu yale e, si ile si kwa tezi haikuwa tutu ya, ya wasiwasi hiyo ndio kawaida ya matiti yetu ya livo um, kwa sababu uh, huwa kidogo hayako uh, smooth sana yako nyorore kwa sababu ndani ndiko kuna ten, kuna mashini za kutengeza maziwa ya mtoto e, kwa hivyo utafanya hivyo e, na ukishamaliza kufanya hivyo ikiwa utahisi kitu ambacho umehisi kwa vi, e, e, chanja vidole na mkono basi hapo unajua hilo kweli ni tezi ama ni tutu nenda za hospitali wakupime zaidi e, m, ili waweze kukwambia na kama nilivyoeleza mbeleni e, m, lamps zote za kwenye titi sio e, kansa kuna lamps nyingine ambazo si kansa das, lakini ni vizuri pia zitolewe kwa hivyo nenda tu hospitali mwanzo ondoshe wasiwasi pate kuelezwa hii kitu gani e, na kisha baadaye ili uweze kupata matibabu. Um, nimeharakisha kidogo kwa sababu ya wakti. Uh, hamna tabu. Nisema nitaongeza kama dakika tano. Nadhani umejibu hili la mwisho pia la shundu. Nadhani umesha umeshali umeshalijibu. Uh, kwa hiyo nadhani tume muda umeshafika. Swali moja tunakotaka kuuliza kwa nini saratani inakuwa ngumu sana kutambuliwa? mtu mzima kabisa anakwenda tu hospitali anajisikia kama homa akienda na bwana saratani na anapoambiwa baada ya muda unasikia tu kashatangulia mbele ya haki kwa nini inachukua muda sana kutambua saratani kwa sababu wakati mwingine mtu hapati maumivu yoyote haumwi afanye chochote exactly that is the challenge with cancer there is no pain by the time you are feeling pain it's almost too late That's why we need to uh, try and go for screening, try to use preventive methods uh, so that we can pick it early, either prevent it all together if we can. And if we can't, then uh, the best we can do for, for ourselves and for each other is to pick it early. Asante kwa swali hilo zura ni ni kweli saratani haina maumivu ndio maana huwa tunaignore tunaipuuza pengine mtu amehisi kuna kitu hapa kimefura lakini mbona mm, hakiniumi ah labda tu mm, ah, ah, tu uh, tunajipuuza sio kama ukiumwa na jino ukiumwa na jino haraka utakimbia uende hospitali sivyo lakini ubaya wa saratani saratani nyingi hazina maumivu na by the time umepata maumivu um, huwa uh, saratani ile manaki imekuwa imeanza kula nerves ndio sasa wasikia maumivu ndio maana wengi wetu hatu hatuigundui uh, saratani mapema uh, lakini ni vizuri tuwe twaelimishana na twajaribu kujikinga na nimeeleza namna gani na pia kuwezi, kujaribu kufanya screening kujipima sisi wenyewe Um, ili tuweze kuigundua mapema kama nilivyoeleza ukipata mapema ut, eh, ni rahisi zaidi kutibika kuliko ukipata zile stage za mwisho thank you very much uh, dr fatma abdallah i think we uh, well i think we have we are almost done we're done So Fatma Abdullah is a doctor specialist in hematology, oncology and blood transfusion and she resides in Nairobi, Kenya and today our topic was breast cancer. Thank you very much. I think we've learned a lot. And ladies, we should we should try and do that to gpime to gpime. Asante sana Dr. Fatma Abdullah. Uh, leo uh, mada yetu ilikuwa saratani ya matiti. Niko napenda kila saa kusema matutu. Eh, wengine tunasema matiti <laughs> ni taalamu wa magonjwa ya damu na vile vile saratani. Shukran sana na naamini tumeelimika sana na ambao hatujipimi tutaanza kujipima inshallah. Shukran nyote. Asanteni kwa kujiunga nasi na mwe na jioni njema. Asante Zura na nyinyi pia kwa kunialika ku, 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 kuzungumza Uh, hili swala nyeti sana uh, nimefurahi na naomba iwe mazungumzo yangu yamewafaidisha uh, nyinyi uh, mulo mulonisikiza na nafikiri eh, 
na wale ambao hawakuwahi kusikiza uh, pengine um, wanapanga wana, uh, kipindi hichi wata watasambazia wengine na wao pia ningependa kuwashukuru kwa kunialika ku, kuzungumzia kuwazungumzia leo uh, asante sana uh, na Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki nyote Shukran. Bye. Shukran. Bye. Bye.